Hey, you know, so uh, I was trying to think back, you know, we're talking about how today is our anniversary of the morning show. I can't think of ever when we've had actual royalty in studio with us before, outside of Robin, of course. Uh, today we are joined by His Royal Highness Prince Nikolaus of Greece and Denmark. Among his many interests, the environment, uh, a lifelong interest in photography and so much more. The Prince is bringing 19 new works to Chicago as part of his exhibition Resilience that will mark the reopening of the National Hellenic Museum September 16th through December the 30th. Welcome to Thank Chicago for the first time. Thank you. Uh, it's nice to have you here with us. It's great to be here. What is the, the correct way to uh, address you. Nikolaus. Nikolaus is is the correct yes. way. Okay. That's great. Because I wanted to just call you Nick or some, you know. You can call me Nick if you want, but something yeah. casual. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Greek to Greek, we can uh, use the. Uh, to explain the the actual lineage of the the royal family uh, oh my God. of Greece, because Do we have five hours. Well, I, I, okay. you know, in in recent, uh, you know, it, years. It started in 1863 with the first king, who was the second son of the king of Denmark which is where the of Denmark comes into it. And um, from then on, you know, it's been five generations. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> and, and it was because of uh, when Hitler took over Greece that the royal family was out for a while and then the military junta and the royal family was out. There was uh, a few times while, when, so there was, was a few times was, when we had, uh, yeah, when we had a republic proclaimed um, various reasons. Yeah. But, it's it's all history. I can't go into it. It's too. Yeah. It's going to be take too long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, it, it, people are fascinated uh, when they hear royal families. Why? Why do you think there is such interest in uh, royals and royal? Well, families? I suppose it's got to do with the, with the fact that you know it's. I hate to use the word celebrity culture, but there is part of that, I guess, because uh, when you have few people who are in in a, in, in a certain label, if you want, uh, then there's a bit more interest. Um, and a lot of it is drummed up by the media, uh, not to put a, a finer point on it, but yeah. yeah. The, um, I guess the British royal family has kind of fueled that uh, as well, don't you think? It's been fueled more by the British media, I'd say, rather than the British royal family itself. Um, but it is, it is what it is, yeah. and, uh, and we deal with it. What's a typical day like in the life of His Royal Highness? For me? My buddy uh, Nick. My, for <laughs> me, it's, uh, it's, you know, ever since I've taken up photography, because I've done a bunch of different things in my life, um, it's the thing that gets me out of bed in the morning, it puts a smile on my face, and it's the thing that I strive for, and I strive to do it always better and better. And I hope that the body of work that I've put together for this exhibition is, I believe, the best that I've done so far. I hope that people, when they come and see it, will feel the same way. So the fun part of this whole process is, in, is behind me, because that's when I'm enjoying taking the photographs. Yeah. The difficult part and the daunting part is now when it's open to the public and people come and see it, because it's almost like you're opening up your soul. Um, so <clears throat> taking the pictures, and I can, I, can, I can love my workers from here to Kingdom Come, but it's, it's where other people are going to appreciate it as well, so I do hope that they do. Yeah, we have some uh, examples of some of the uh, photos that will be part of the exhibit at the uh, National Hellenic Museum, re reopening after the uh, pandemic. What are we looking at here? This is called Seeing Green? Yes, um, so I, all this body of work came about, uh, it was mostly created during the first lockdown in the pandemic. We had a very strict lockdown, so uh, I was confined at home. I had a feeling that this might be coming, so I got prepared and I got all my tools ready and everything and, uh, and, and worked very hard during that first lockdown. But the, the interesting thing is the resilience part, the, the theme, what you're actually looking at, I'm sorry to answer your question, is a photograph that I have taken of an olive tree, which I've then immersed in a body of water and then oh. retaken the photograph again. Oh, wow. Um, and so the whole, the, whole, the whole exhibition is based on a quote by Odysseus Elitis, who said, if you deconstruct Greece, you'll be left with a boat, a vine, and an olive. Oh, wow. And wow. an olive tree. And so th with those three things, you can reconstruct Greece. And Greeks are a resilient people. Nature is resilient. And obviously, with the lockdown, with the pandemic, we found that everybody has had to be resilient. Yeah. And when we got into the lockdown, nobody knew what was going to happen. But the interesting thing is, everybody was turning to nature. When you had a moment to get out of, out of your house, if you had the opportunity, you'd see people going through nature. The frontline workers in Greece, you'd see them coming out of the hospitals and they'd go and not hug a tree, but they'd lean against a tree, touch a tree, because you just, that's when we realized that we needed nature. 
interestingly enough, on her own side, uh, nature has been resilient. We gave her a breathing space of a few months, and you saw how she bounced back. Yeah. So uh, that's, that's part of the, the whole thematic. And one of the works that I've done uh, for, this, for this exhibition for the first time is a picture of the bottom of the sea taken from outside of the sea, and then I've created a mosaic out of plastic credit cards, 272 plastic credit cards. Wow. And the reason is that we consume in our, in the Western civilized world, we consume on average about one credit card's worth of plastic a week. Wow. So I wanted to accentuate that fact and uh, make people realize how much plastic is, is, is affecting not just our oceans, yeah. but, but every aspect of our lives. You can see uh, the full exhibit at the National Hellenic Museum <clears throat> starting on September the 16th through December the 20th. At 30th. Three, uh, December 30th, rather, yeah. Yep. Uh, 333 South Halstead uh, in Chicago, uh, where there's tons of uh, fantastic Greek food. One of the things that they told me, though, when we were arranging for you to be here is that you had never had Chicago pizza, now you have with Lou Malnati's, and you had never had a Chicago-style hot dog. Now, I went to college in the States, and we've done some crazy things, but I never had a pizza for breakfast. Well, so, there's, a, there's uh, a lot so. of things that you'll experience <laughs> for the first time uh, here. We called one of our favorite hot dog places, uh, George's Hot Dogs in Bucktown at 1876 uh, North Damon in Chicago, and the owner, Mary Zimparas, is here, and she's going to make you a Chicago-style hot dog. That's Let's great. Over That's her. funny. I've Let's been, I spoke to John Kudunis, who, who's uh, on the board of the, of the National Linux. Yeah. And uh, when, I, when, I, when I was coming over, I said, what do you need? And apart from sponsoring my lovely exhibition, I said yep. I want to have a Chicago hot dog and a deep pan pizza. Now, I don't know if you guys talked to me. When <laughs> took care of it here. Mary, Great Prince, surprise. Prince, Mary. Nice to meet you. Nice. Very nice. Chiropoli. So uh, you're going to make them a traditional yes. Chicago style hot dog. So we have seven ingredients. Great. So with Where's the ketchup? No ketchup. I'm kidding. Oh, boy. <laughs> no ketchup. You're trying to start an international incident here. Relish. We've got the green relish. Got the chopped yeah, onions. Fresh onions. I won't some, put too many. Some lovely <laughs> tomatoes. Are these tomatoes from Greece? Yes. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> We've got the uh, spear of pickle. And, and one of the things that celery, celery salt that's salt. going on. Celery salt, I love celery that. Salt. Yeah, pillory and the sport Mary. peppers, and there's some Greek French fries I noticed yes. that she has there. French fries with uh, feta cheese, all from George's in Bucktown. Uh, go and take a look at the Prince's photo exhibit at the uh, National Hellenic Museum. Uh, Prince Nicolau, yeah. thank you so, so much. much. As he enjoys this hot dog, thank you so much. I know much. it's early in the morning, but usually I have a beer with my hot dog. Uh, we'll get you some <laughs> We always thank have you very much. With us.